Just more than a week after graduation, state lawmakers are replacing students at Marshall University, the state legislature in Huntington for interim meetings. A chance for lawmakers to receive updates and consider potential legislation for next year. News Channel 3's Curtis Johnson making the trip as well and reports lawmakers heard about the need to widen a road that could be getting a lot busier. The new core still plant, an investment approaching $3 billion, creating more than 1,000 jobs in Mason County. And this man told lawmakers that's just the beginning. Talks underway with two other major employers to bring even more jobs to Mason County. One considering an investment as big or potentially greater than new core. And I can't talk too much about them because of the agreement that I've signed. But I can tell you that both of them have optioned property. Just north into Jackson County, Berkshire Hathaway redeveloping this manufacturing site. And to the south, another developer telling lawmakers of an existing manufacturer looking to expand with 40 new jobs. But with growth comes challenges, chief among them the need for a wider highway. If I have to have one ask, we do need to have Route 2 expansion. The thing you've heard about Route 2 is a terrible, terrible road. Uh, you know, you'll see some of it, I think, when you get up. It's pretty good in Cabell County, but once you get in Mason County, it's pretty bad. But we need your help. Monday's meeting taking place here at Marshall University, less than five miles from Route 2. Lawmakers in Huntington this week to get a first-hand look at the successes and needs in this part of the state. House Finance Chairman Vernon Chris says the region is booming, but says expanding Route 2 will not be automatic. How close are we, you think, to having that critical mass to demand Route 2 be expanded? Well, uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see on the traffic counts. We'll have to see up on the demand for the type of roads that we need to build. Not necessarily do we need to build a complete four-lane superhighway interstate standard type road, but maybe an industrial type road. Another need, more housing. Mason County's development director says Nucor is already working with a private partner to build 300 temporary units for its workers. Cabell County Commissioner and Realtor Kelly Sabonia says the lack of housing inventory extends south and demands attention. We can open up all the um, you know, factories and industries that we want, but unless you have um, housing to meet those needs, it's going to be difficult for recruitment. Lawmakers will tour businesses Tuesday along Route 2, the final day of their Huntington visit. Curtis Johnson, WSAZ News Channel 3, Huntington. Marshall President Brad Smith went, met with the lawmakers for some lunch, and uh, he talked about the university's place in the future of economic development and health care.